Welcome in. How are you? I'm good, but I'm nervous about my intellectual foundations class. That's okay. What are you having trouble with in your class? Well, we've been reading the Odyssey, and it's a really long and confusing book, so sometimes I keep getting lost. I also took the same class, and I completely agree. It's a big, intimidating text to look at. We actually have copies of the Odyssey in the Writing Center, so if you want, we can look at one of them together to better understand important sections. But before that, why don't we talk about what your paper is about? Sure. My paper is about the Odyssey, and we need to argue whether or not we think Odysseus is a hero. Let's take a look at your paper. Where are you at with it? I have some bulleted ideas, but I don't really know how to flush them out and turn them into a paper. That's alright. Here at the Writing Center, we can help at any part of the writing process, even if you come in with an empty paper. Why don't we look at what you have so far? Sure. Here I have written... Thank you for reading through your paper. Why don't we pull out the whiteboard to brainstorm more ideas to strengthen your points? Okay. Let's think about some ideas about what a hero is. Heroes are usually strong and powerful. Does it have to just be physical strength? No, they can be smart and empathetic too. How does Odysseus relate to those traits? Well, Odysseus... Great work today! We came up with a lot of ideas and specific parts of the text that you can use as examples. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling a lot better about this. I think I know how to start turning these bullet points into paragraphs. I'm glad. If you find yourself having trouble again, feel free to book another appointment with me and we can pick up where we left off. Thanks for your help! Perfect. Let's wrap up and fill out your appointment summary so your professor can see that you came in today and then you're good to go. That's okay. We could still help you even if you haven't booked an appointment. Thanks. I wasn't sure how to book an appointment, so I thought I'd just show up and see what happens. You're fine. We take walk-ins in addition to appointments. While I'm setting this up, how are you doing? I'm okay, but I have this thesis paper and it's really been stressing me out. I can imagine. Writing a thesis takes a lot of time and work. But we could help you with that process. What do you need help with? Well, I have already written 20 pages, but my professor says this third section needs some work. How do you feel about reading through the seven pages from that section? That way we can get a better idea of what it's about. I can do that. The Art of Ancient Greece compared to the earlier work of Ancient Egypt by... Hmm, actually, that sentence doesn't sound right. Okay. Let's pause here and take a look at it then. What do you think sounds off about it? I don't really know. It just does. Can you fix it for me? I'm here to help you build your skills with writing so you do some going forward. If I write the sentence for you or take a red pen to your paper, we won't be able to accomplish that. Why don't you tell me what you think you are trying to convey in that sentence? Well, both periods of art focused on deities and higher powers in their work, as well as idealized ways of life. I just wrote down what you told me now. Do you want to try rewriting the sentence with these ideas in mind? Okay, actually, I think what I just said sounds better than what the original sentence was saying, so I'll just replace it with that. That sounds good. Should we continue reading? Okay. This was seen by artwork that focused on prayer and religious rituals. Thanks for reading through all that. I think I have a better understanding of what your paper is about now. I want to ask, did your professor point out anything specific that you needed to improve on? He said I was too general and that my examples were broad. Right. I noticed that you talked a lot about lifestyle choices and how they played into the art. Can you think of any specific artworks that you studied that prove what you said? Yeah, actually. I have another document with a bunch of artworks I looked at for this paper. Perfect. Why don't you share that with me, and we could spend the rest of the session discussing how to connect these artworks back to this section of your paper. 
Okay, I'm sharing it with Writing Center at Carthage.edu now. So we've got like five minutes left today, so we should probably start wrapping up. Man, today went great. I feel so much better about my paper. Do you think I can book another appointment with you to keep working on this? Sure. I could show you how to book an appointment so you'll know how to for the next time. So first I open up Navigate, and then I could click Schedule an Appointment, and that will bring me to where I could click what type of appointment I want. So for now, I'm going to do a Writing Center appointment. For the service, I'll click Writing Center Appointment again, and then I could pick whichever date works best for me. So here I click September 28th, but any date is open. And then I could also click whatever time works best for me. And this will also allow me to choose uh, which fellow will I want that will be on shift. So now I could see all the details for the appointment and where I should submit my prompt. I want to meet in person for this appointment, but I could also schedule a written feedback if that works better for me. And here I could type my comments such as my prompt or anything else that I want the fellow to know for my class. I'm going to keep the email reminder so then I remember to come in. And then I schedule my appointment. Easy as that. Thanks so much for everything. Seriously. Is there any way I can show how grateful I am about today? Actually, there is. You could scan one of our QR codes in the Writing Center and give us feedback on your session, positive or negative. It really helps us learn how to be more accommodating for anyone that comes in. I can fill out your appointment summary while you do this. I'm scanning the QR code now.